Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as was the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, I hope that you're all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So I'm pretty sure everyone right now is ready to get rich. They are anticipating that 2024 is the year that we do get rich. If it's not 2024, leading into 2025 is probably the time frame, right? Um, I personally think that we front run it. I don't think that this is a typical cycle. I think that we could very well have, you know, all time highs realized in this year around a very large portion of altcoins, including even XRP. Now, as we really look at that, what are we anticipating? What are we watching for? We're watching for Bitcoin to make a new all time high. But where does XRP lie in all of this? Where does XRP go? Because I see so many people being extremely negative and hey, I welcome it. It is what it is. Not everyone can get rich. It's as simple as that. And you know, as we really wait for XRP to move, one of the best things that you can do is make money on other assets. That's the key around diversification. Being diversified in the space in AI, gaming, things like that. Guys, I've always said it, XRP is not my number one holding. It's in my top five. I continue to add to my XRP bag when I get the chance to. But regardless, I'm taking profits from other bags to you know push into my XRP bag to make it grow even more and more and more. That way, we don't have to hit you know a $50 XRP in order for me to make a ton of money off of it. In fact, if it just goes to $5, I'm very, very happy with that. But beyond that, what is the actual price prediction around XRP? Where can XRP actually go? We're going to address it. So first and foremost, like I said, all coins are still doing incredible moves along uh, with, you know, most of the markets. Uh, but all coins right now are the focus and they, they will continue to be the focus outside of Bitcoin, right? We're still waiting for Bitcoin to make a new all time high. Like if these gains on these meme coins and some of these old coins are getting you excited right now. I just want you all to understand that this is just the beginning. Cool off. Throw the emotions out the window. You can't have emotions in this space right now. Why? Because guess what? This is just the start. I have been addressing this quite a bit on X. In fact, there's two posts I put out um, last night, right? This one. I said the fun is just beginning. Euphoria really starts to flow once all-time highs on Bitcoin are broken. Once this happens, every single mainstream media source will be pushing the narrative. Right now, the number one thing that has been everywhere is the Bitcoin ETFs. Now, one thing that I have actually been focused on, I've been even talking about it in the Discord and the private Discord, is Max Payne. Everyone thinks Max Payne is retail getting dumped on by institutions and things like that. Let me give you a perspective from my point of view of what Max Payne looks like. Max Payne is every single mainstream media source pushing Bitcoin ETFs. Bitcoin ETF, Bitcoin ETF. We see it everywhere. Hey, look at Bitcoin ETFs. That means Bitcoin's going to go to 300,000, 400,000, 500,000. I've even... I, listen, I I saw a million dollar Bitcoin prediction the other day that solidified where we are actually going to top at, which again, my topping point for Bitcoin might seem shallow, but it's because when we really look at Bitcoin right now, it is being heavily pushed for these massive price predictions. But Max Payne for the retail sector is being roped into buying and holding Bitcoin while altcoins experience the largest bull run in history. The space is changing and things are a bit different. I truly believe we soon start to see focus on Bitcoin fading out greatly because of the diminished returns. And the same even goes for Ethereum. This is when you really want to be positioned in altcoins for the greatest wealth opportunity. This is what we have been preparing for and altcoins are looking really good even now, but give it a few more weeks. Majority are not ready for what's coming. And yes, majority are not ready for what's going to be happening because they haven't really experienced a full on bull run. They haven't really experienced an alt season. If you haven't been around for at least a cycle, then you probably don't realize how big altcoins actually move in the bull run. 
it is very exciting. But in order to get there, yeah, we do have to experience sideways price action. We have to experience pullbacks, corrections. Those things happen, but they are healthy. But I posted this Google Trends, and this is crypto worldwide, past five years. Guys, this is starting to spike heavy. And the last time that we had this spike up, the alt season was just beginning, and the cycle is repeating. I've been um, posting a lot around these uh, Google Trends. Like, for an example, this was just March uh, 4th. This was just a couple days ago. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of these two charts. We could see how significant this has changed in just a couple days. Isn't that insane? This was the 24th. This was just last night. You could see that there's a big interest right now around crypto and it's continuing to grow which means this is continuing to fuel the narrative this is going to continue to push bitcoin to new all-time highs this is also when all coins really start to move now like i said as we really look at that where are we at right now around all coins well i put out this post and let me refresh it just uh to make sure that the image does not do that but it's okay the image doesn't matter anyways this is the year your life changes. Don't fall into the traps of hodling life changing money back to the starting point or worse. And when I say worse, I mean, there's a lot of people that have actually held, you know, a lot of these projects from their initial investment point, even below that, meaning they held all the way into a loss. Don't do that. Especially even with XRP. Take profits, de-risk pay yourselves and change your lives. You could always keep a moon bag on the sidelines. Everyone thinks that, you know, when you sell or take profits, oh, that's it. You're missing out on life-changing wealth. They don't realize that you could keep that moon bag. And even during the bear market or when we have a major correction, you can reinvest those profits and possibly even double your bag. Most people don't do this. In fact, they wait wait, wait for a specific target. Just for reference, back in 2021, the target was $10 on XRP. Did we get there? No, we didn't. How many people are still bag holding XRP from 2020 or even 2021? I can tell you right now, a lot. So don't sit there bag holding back down to profit points or even below profit points. We are in the early stages of the largest alt season in crypto history. When mainstream media starts shilling ridiculous prices for Bitcoin to the sheep and everyone you know is talking about crypto, you know what to do. It's going to be a wild ride. There will be pullbacks along the way, but stay focused and remain emotionless. Now, again, combining what I just posted here with what I posted over here around Bitcoin, yes. Don't fall into the traps regarding, you know, even the Bitcoin ETFs and all that, because that's Max Payne. But another Max Payne scenario is bag holding altcoins back down to zero or even at a loss. Don't be that guy. If there is life changing wealth in front of you, take some profits, pay yourselves. It's not that big of a deal. Everyone always makes it a big deal. Oh, why are you selling your crypto? They scold people in this space for selling crypto. Guys, I'm sorry, but me bag holding something is not paying the bills. It's not doing anything, especially if there's life-changing wealth there. It doesn't mean that you have to sell 100%, but even selling 10% of your bag at significant profits, it can pay you greatly. So don't be left bag holding. When it comes to XRP though, what are we expecting this year? So I have this chart on, um, I, I, I made this chart real quick before this video, and I've been following this a little bit. So if we go back to 2018 and we go to that all-time high, right? Like this is 2017, 2018. Um, the area at which we hit resistance and closed on, on the monthly, look at how funny this is. This is the same exact area that we wicked to back in uh, 2021. Look at this right at a dollar 98 and a half so for anyone that was sitting here saying 
Oh, well, you know, XRP didn't even try to break into a new all-time high. It tried, but it hit resistance. And this is like right, right around the same time that the market actually topped out. The area right now on the monthly to really watch for, though, is $1.60 on XRP now because this is where we closed at um, in 2021. So this is the new resistance area. So what we are watching for is a new monthly close when we get there above $1.60 because that would confirm that we are going to retest that $1.98.5 AKA the resistance zone from 2017, 2018, and possibly get a much larger move to a new all time high. Now, where do we go in terms of price action? Well, I'm waiting for a big break over this wedge. And even if we go back here, we could see the trend line, right? We back tested it um, in April, and then we had that major move to the upside. Overall, XRP still, even in the middle of an SEC lawsuit, even delisted on every single major exchange, all the FUD, all of the noise, it still did a 1,700% move off of the 2020 lows. This time around, even if we just repeated that same move, and I have it at, at uh, 1694. Let me move this up slightly to about roughly, I'll try to get 1708. There we have it. So this would be past my $5 target. It would be about roughly $5.20 some cents. That is fair to me. I would be very happy with that. Even like I said, $5 is my initial target. This is my initial target right here at $5. But do I believe XRP can go significantly higher? Yes, I do believe so. And why is that? Well, it's because when we go back over to CoinMarketCap, like I said, the focus from the, the retail sector, the sheep, and the reason why we start getting FOMO into like meme coins and things like that is because they want to make money as fast as possible. They don't like diminished gains. They don't like, you know, when we're talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum only doing like a two, three, four, five X return. Like when we look at Ethereum right now, right? Ethereum has done well. If we go back to Ethereum, let's actually just look at this real quick. So this is the all time chart. We hit back in 2022 about roughly $1,000. Hey, it is what it is. We're almost at a $4,000 Ethereum. I see a lot of people calling for a $10,000 Ethereum yet again, just like they did back in 2021. Um, do I think that it goes there? Eh, it's questionable. 7,500 to 10,000 seems eh, it's like kind of right on target. But the question is, what about XRP? Because if I said XRP is going to $10 or $15 or $20, people would call me crazy. But when we look at the market cap of Ethereum right now, it is sitting at $472 billion. Guys, that is not a low number. That is almost half a trillion dollars in market cap. Now, if we're talking about $7,500 for Ethereum, this bull run, that would take it to $900.8 billion in market cap. Now, why am I bringing up market cap? Well, it's because Everyone argues the point that XRP can't go to a specific number because of market cap. Guess what? While everyone's calling for a 10,000 Ethereum, that would be a $1.2 trillion market cap. If we are addressing that, okay, if we're talking about a $1.2 trillion market cap for Ethereum, and we say, oh, well, you know, XRP can't do that. Even going off of a fully diluted market cap for XRP at $1.2 trillion of market cap, that would take XRP to $12. And I'm talking about a fully diluted market cap. We're not talking about, you know, what, what's the supply right now? I think it's like 50, it's 54.6 billion. So I, I, I'll just round it to 55 for an example. If we're just talking about the circulating uh, supply for XRP, that would take XRP to 20, almost $2 if we hit that 1.2 trillion. But the reason why I'm, I'm bringing this up, it, it, it's for discussion piece. It's not for, hey, I think XRP is going to 20 some dollars. No, I don't. But I'm just saying, if, if we're talking about Ethereum going to $10,000, all right, why can't the argument for XRP going to $20 come into, come into uh, conversation? This is what doesn't make sense to me. Bitcoin's already at a $1.3 trillion market cap. Think about that. All right. 
And we're sitting here saying, oh, XRP will never make a new all-time high again. How insane is that? Now, where do I think XRP can go this, this uh, bull run? Like I said, my initial target is $5. I'm very happy with a $5 XRP. Obviously, yes, we need to hit these two uh, resistance zones on the monthly and get a close over them before we even start to get excited about a $5, $10, $15, whatever dollar XRP. But what I'm looking at is Ethereum. XRP, if it just hit Ethereum's market cap right now, would be sitting at an $8.61 XRP. If we look at that, right? Here we have $8.61 on the, the chart. This would be a 2,900% run up. If we're talking about the all time high for Ethereum, we're talking about a $10.47 XRP. This would be a market cap of 571.7 billion dollars. This would be a 3,560% run up off of the lows. This would be almost double what we saw back in 2021. Why could I see this happening? Well, because first off, XRP is the only altcoin in this space to actually flip Ethereum in the past. But also, this time around, XRP is not in the middle of a lawsuit. Everyone keeps bringing up the institutional sales from Ripple and how that's still in a lawsuit. Guys, that doesn't pertain to XRP specifically. XRP is cleared for at least the next two years. Now, with that in mind, XRP is also relisted on every single major exchange. There's not the uncertainty around if XRP is a security or not. XRP is very close to breaking out and it doesn't have all that noise. XRP at this current moment in time has a ton of substance behind it as well with a lot of the amendments happening on the XRP ledger. We also have Ripple hiring for institutional and DeFi initiatives on the XRP ledger as well. In my opinion, XRP is in a prime position, this bull run, to actually experience it fully for the first time since 2017, 2018. Now, like I said, I do think that XRP could hit some of those very high figures, like, you know, for an example, eight to $10, I'm more so focused on $5 initially, but that's just the initial target. That's me being conservative. Do I think XRP can go significantly higher? Yes. But during this time, you should 100% be paying yourselves and making sure that you are taking profits because no target is guaranteed. None of these targets are guaranteed. I'm just putting this into a conversation piece because I still believe that XRP is more efficient than Ethereum. It might not have the adoption that Ethereum has in terms of dApps and applications built out on it that are creating TVL on Ethereum, but I still believe that XRP is a very significant project. It is in the top 10 still, which means once we see Bitcoin make a new all-time high and altcoins really take off and a lot of that money flowing down and trickling into altcoins, XRP is going to see a significant amount of money inflowing into it, which could very well significantly push it higher. Do I need to take you guys back to um, just the summertime. So let's go to the one day uh, chart on XRP. Let's go back to the summertime when we got the announcement that XRP was cleared as not a security. This was a daily candle of 100%. Okay, that's how fast things can change in the space. Everyone's sitting here saying, oh, XRP's not doing anything. XRP can't do anything. XRP can't even make a new all time high. Guys, in a very short amount of time, in a bull run, when all eyes are on the space and you start to see an altcoin going up 100% in just one daily candle, guess what follows next? Very, very big moves. I mean, just go back to 2017, 2018. In one monthly candle, we're going off of the bottom here to the candle wick to the upside of just this green candle. XRP did a 26,545% move. Now, do I think that's going to do the same exact move this time around? No, it's ridiculous. But I still think that XRP could have a very significant candle brew for it. A lot of people call it a God candle. Um, but I do think that it could hit, you know, like just think about it like this. From this level right now to that resistance zone that I'm talking about in terms of the monthly candle close, from our level now, this is a 214% move. Let's go over here to the seven day returns on a lot of these meme coins. You're talking about 161% move, 226% move as well. Guys, Shiba Inu is in the top 10 as $20 billion in market cap. And it has 161, almost 162% move in the last seven days. Like I said, XRP can do a move like this in a very, very short amount of time. That's how close we are to having a significant monthly candle close 
over resistance going all the way back to 2017, 2018, which could very well put it on a path to new all time highs and to my initial $5 target. I do believe that XRP holders are going to be paid this year. I also believe that we are about to witness one of the largest altcoin markets in history around crypto. And you need to focus on alt season because that's when things are getting very, very exciting. And that's where most of the gains will be made this time around. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, set notifications on if you guys have more free content. If you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.